Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be showing you a fall makeup tutorial. Since fall is coming up, I want to do something with oranges, yellows, browns, maybe some reds. Just kind of like fall leaf colors. And I currently, yesterday, just got the So Jaded palette by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. And it's all jewel tones, so it's very beautiful, lots of dark tones. So I'll probably use some of those shades, and I also have my Morphe 35B palette. And this has a lot of brighter shades, so I will probably go in with some of these shades for the brighter fall colors. So what I'm going to do first is just take off my glasses, put those over there. I'm just going to throw my hair up since it's very crazy right now. So first what I like to do is I like to use my 4th Ray Beauty Rainfall Serum. It's got 2% hyaluronic acid, it's very hydrating, it's literally like my staple, I use it two times a day, sometimes three if my skin feels really dry. So I really love this stuff, and it's really cheap. So I just do one drop of my skin, and I like to pat it in. Once I feel like it's finally sunken into my skin, then I like to go in with the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting Tahitian Glow Powder. I don't always do this, but since it's still the end of summer, as you can see I am very pale. I like to go in with a very light hand, because if you use too much, this stuff will make you look like a whole nother shade, you know? So I guess this is really good if you um, self tan or spray tan or even if you got a tan outside in the sun and it just didn't look even. This is a great way to even your face out with your body. This is what it looks like. I use the little pad that comes with it. I just dab into there. And I just kind of try to spread it my face and spread it out because I don't want it to be in just one spot. And I find that this really makes your foundation glow more, like it's a glow from within. Darling, I'm gone. And it looks really stupid at first when you put any foundation over it. Make sure to get it on your neck as well so you don't look like you two different shades. So I'll go away. Even just foundation, ladies. Put it on your neck, okay? Just a little bit, you gotta even it out somehow. You have so much makeup on your face and none on your neck. And your shades, your foundation and bronze and all that is darker than your skin tone. You're gonna look weird. People are gonna tell where the line is where your makeup has not been put. I mean, you do you, but. That cute. So next, I am going to go in with my primer. My favorite primer as of right now is the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. Hydro Grip Primer, sorry. I absolutely love this brand. I almost did an internship with their studios because I went to school for photography and I really love their company. And I fell in love even more when I went for the interview, but. Sadly, it's unpaid because it's an internship. There's very few internships that are paid. And I just cannot afford to live in New York City right now without being paid. So, we'll see, maybe when I have the money. I'm just living at home and working right now to save up. I either want to move to Boston or New York City, so. We'll see what happens. I would totally interview again if it meant I could possibly get that internship. And Maybe I could have like two other jobs at the same time, which would be awful, but you gotta do what you have to do. Start out, you have to put your foot in the door somewhere. See, I'm already being aggressive with my skin again. <sighs> Why do I do this? So once I feel like that's all soaked in, next I like to go in with my NYX Full Coverage Concealer, and it's in the shade Cream. 
it's good for acne because it balances out the red. Opposites attract. Green and red are opposites. So I take just a little bit on my finger and I place it where I think my acne is. And I usually have acne around my chin, above my lip, and my nose. It's like the only area lately that I seem to get acne. I don't know, there's probably a reason for it, but it's also a full moon right now, and I don't want to be superstitious, but my face always breaks out when there's a full moon. I started, someone pointed it out on Twitter that it happens to them, and I noticed every month now, like, that that happens to me too, and I don't understand it, but it is what it is. So now I'm going to go into my foundation, and I use the Milk Makeup Foundation Stick in the shade Fair. It's the Flex Foundation. It's pretty new and I fell in love because I don't like when a foundation is not enough coverage, but I also don't like when it's too much and your skin looks fake. And this stuff looks like skin, I kid you not. Like, it's amazing. And since it's a stick, you can go in with a light hand and if it doesn't look like enough, you just put some more on. And you're not wasting any with like like a liquid foundation speed. So what I do, kind of do like tiger stripes. And I don't have a eyeshadow primer right now. Because I ran out and I'm just too lazy to buy one. And it's been a long time since I've used them, honestly. I'll be honest. So I'm just using foundation and concealer and it it works, so that's what I do. So then I go in with my Wet Beauty Blender. I already wet it. It's clean, guys. I know it looks gross. It's just stain from past foundations. So I just, I know some people like to pat it in, but I find with a stick foundation that takes forever. So I just kind of swipe like this, and then I go in and pat to make sure it's really like pressed in my skin. I know just on Instagram, some people that are friends with me have requested a skincare routine. Darling, and I will definitely do one of those and I'll also do like an everyday makeup. So next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape I'll Concealer. And I have the shade Fair Beige. So I usually just so two dots under my eye and then one on my pimples. Getting my nose too because it's very red today. So now I'm gonna just kind of spread the concealer on my whole chin because that's where my acne is. What I like to do with under my eye is that's where I carry it onto my eyelid so that I have a base for my eyeshadow. I really want to buy the milk powder next. I still have yet to try a loose powder. And I really want to, because I've heard great things. And they're expensive, you know? Like, a milk one is like $30, I think. And it's pretty big, but so you get what you pay for, but I don't know, I'm just broke. I'm a broke college graduate, so. This, let me tell you what the product is. It's Physician's Formula and it is the Mineral Wear Talc-Free Face Powder and in the shade Beige. I don't even know if they sell this anymore because I've had it for so long. So I apologize if it's not in a store near you either. And I'm just going in with an Eco Tools brush. It doesn't say what number it is, but it's just like a face powder brush. And I just, I honestly put it over my whole face to set it. And a little goes a long way. People are gonna judge me for doing this because everyone uses loose powder now. And no one puts it over their whole face, but you know, I find that I get, I think I have combination skin. Sometimes my skin is really dry. Sometimes it's really oily. I don't know. 
my skin type seems to change like all the time so I don't know what it is but uh, especially after a long day at work if I don't set my whole face like this I feel like I get very greasy and gross I just go ham with it so next I like to go in with my highlighter man this lighting and I like to use the ColourPop F5 brush it's their small fluff brush I really love this thing and I like to go in with the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek. It is, if you like a blinding highlight, honey, this is for you. It's blinding. <laughs> and you can see I use it all the time, so. I hit the pan, as the young kids like to say. So I just... I like to go in circular motions because I feel like it looks really stupid when people just have a stripe on their face of highlight. Like, no, honey. You look like a tiger with your stripes. So just do circular motions. If you want to use your finger, because the warmth sometimes really makes it pop, just go in with your brush again after and do a few circular motions and it'll look natural. But you'll still be popping. I put some on my nose, too do the bridge of my nose and then with my finger I go in on my cupid's bow and then excuse me I just burped I'm I'm so sorry I like to put it on my I'm forgetting what it's called the arch under your eyebrow I can't use my words today And after that, I use my Glossier Cloud Paint. I want so many things from Glossier, but again, pricey. Pricey for what it is. So luckily my friend Becky, she went to the same college as me and she lives in Seattle currently. And she worked at one of those pop-up Glossier stores for a little bit. They're not there in Seattle anymore. They're in Boston right now. So she actually, they always had like free samples and testers and stuff and a lot of the people that worked there got to take them home because they didn't want to just throw it out and bless her soul most of them are pretty filled up still and they would clean them to make sure they were sanitary she sent me puff and beam so thank you Becky if you're watching this so I'm going to use beam today it's kind of like an orangey tone and I think that's good for this fall look just take a little bit on my finger and I use my finger to dab it in. I bring it into my highlight as well because I think it gives a really beautiful glow when you bring it into your highlight and that's why I do the highlight first. It's just the most pretty. work quickly I feel like because it dries kind of fast but I like to put some on my nose as well so I kind of carry it over when I'm done both cheeks if I put too much on it use the excess on my nose you can these things are great because you can layer if you don't think it looks like enough blush and you really love your blush, you can layer it and you can also mix with the other glossy egg shades. And then I'll put a little on my chin. I hope you guys can see everything. This is my first time doing a tutorial like this. And I'm still filming on my phone currently because the vlogging camera that I want to get is like 400 something dollars. So. You'll just have to wait for a little bit, and I apologize. I'm always apologizing in these videos already. I only have like three videos so far. So next, I'm going to take some bronzer. And this is an e.l.f. brush. Again, it does not say on it. These brushes like don't put the number of the brush, so I, I don't know what to tell you. But it's a tapered brush, so I use it for contouring. And I'm using the Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Skinny Dip. I got, my mom actually got this set. She uses a lot of Bare Minerals, so 
She gave it to me. So I'm gonna use it. I always make a fish face when I do contour. Not contour, bronzer. I don't know why. I just do. It's a habit. I'm gonna kind of carry it down. I have a lot of foundation on my lips, so what I like to do to fix that is I take my Nivea Broad Spectrum SPF chapstick. It's just their plain one. That gets the lips really hydrated, and then what I do is I go in with my NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. And I just kind of fill my lips back in because this is actually kind of like my lip color. And I use it as a lip liner for pretty much any lipstick. I really should buy more lip liners, but since it matches my lip color, I feel it just keeps the lipstick on longer and keeps it in. There we go. Delicious. So now we're going to go into the eyes. And I know a lot of people like to do eyes first, so. I'm so sorry if you're trying to follow along with this tutorial. Because I do not do my eyes first. It's just a habit. I've always done my face first and I never really have too much fallout. So it never, I never really felt the need. So I really like in my Anastasia um, palettes, the brushes that come in there. I love these brushes. So I have two of their palettes and I use both brushes. They have the fluffy side and they have the, what do you call it? I'm just not doing great today. You know, it's Friday the 13th and it's a full moon. I can't talk. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I think I'm going to start with the Morphe palette, the 35B. I think I'm going to start with the yellow as a crease shade. So we're going to go in with the yellow shade down here at the bottom. It's kind of like a bright mustard yellow. So I'm going to take the fluffy brush, actually. I'm going to buff it into my crease. I have the Zodiac palette by her. Another beautiful palette. And I just remembered that there's this orange. I'm sorry, I just had to go grab another mirror for a second because I'm too far away from my mirror right now. As I realized, there's one in the palette as well. Darling, don't leave. Darling, don't. 
Okay, you guys, that took me forever, and the mirror situation was horrible. So, it's done though. The eye look is done. I will zoom you in after and show you the final look in some better lighting. But for now, for mascara, I like to go in with two mascaras to really add volume. So, I'm gonna go in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal in the darkest black. And the other um, mascara that I'm going to use is CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights, and they don't sell that anymore. And they're really sad about that, but I'll have to find a dupe for you guys. I can recommend. Colourpop Brow Boss Gel and a pencil, and I use the shade Dark Brown. So what I like to do is go in with the pencil side. Oh, oh I lost my cap. Okay. And what I do is just fill in where my hairs are so much. Then I go in with the gel, and I literally just brush through it again, but then I brush the hairs up in the front, upwards.